I'm Carol Hartman, and I'm originally from Northeast Montana, up along the Missouri River. I've spent many years out of state, and I am now living and loving living in Red Lodge. I used to do a lot of interactive installations internationally all across the United States. And since I moved back to Montana, I've been doing landscapes in oil. I usually follow the, a theme. I've either got homesteads or I've got, I research the Oregon Trail or I research the Travels West on the river. I like a complete theme and try to research as much as I can so I'm learning things as I'm painting. Being an artist in Red Lodge, you are living in the most beautiful spot you could possibly imagine. And I can go a little bit north and I'm into the flatlands, which I kind of like less trees, more hillsides. Or I could head north and I'm in the Absorky Beartooth Wilderness. It's really great for scenery and for antique old houses and things like that. It's difficult for being in the art world in that supplies are hard to find, so you've got to go somewhere or order online. And it's more difficult finding the artists that you can converse with to discuss what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and how to improve yourself. So we are a little isolated in that respect. But then those of us who realize that, we take trips and we take workshops and try to learn from other people. You know, having other artists around is, um, I don't know, it, it just builds your anticipation to do another project. And if you have a problem or you can't move something, you get somebody to talk to. And it's just that camaraderie that is neat and you would never get that at home. Here, this building is just made for it. So it's perfect. It's, my dream, I have always wanted a studio like this, and this is it. Many times I'd have this kind of a dream, and I'm going down this wide hallway, and I've got these big paintings. And I remember thinking, I've got to memorize these. I've, I've got to remember them. And here I am in this space, and I feel like I'm back in that little childhood dream where I've got all these paintings surrounding me now. And these are my memories from when I was a kid. An art center like this is gonna bring recognition for Red Lodge being a center for art. I mean, we've already got sports, you know, the fishing, and we've got the golfing, and we've got the skiing. Our economy still needs more, and I think having the arts here is just enriches who we are as a town. People already think of Red Lodge as an art town, but we've really only got one fine art place downtown and then the Arts Guild. That's, you know, we don't have a lot of art venues. And having this, people can come in and actually see what the artist is doing. You know, they can come in and watch us. We got our doors open. They can, and I think they have a better appreciation for the art if they can come in and see it. So I think it enriches the town.